Hello guys, uh, today I'll be working on my vacuum system um, and in particular I'll be working on my uh, uh, climbing and what I need to do is uh, I need to replace this element that uh, operates uh, fresh air or recirculating air inside the cab. So first and most important step in this uh, is going to be uh, disconnecting the battery as I might need to remove the steering wheel and if you remove this if I have to remove the steering wheel I'm going to have to pull uh, uh, to pull that uh, the airbag out and that's a big trouble so I want to disconnect this pull the minus uh, a note um, before you do that make sure that you have the the radio code because uh, you're gonna need it after you uh, reconnect the battery okay I'll try to do my best uh, so you guys can see uh, what I'm doing. Uh, some of it is gonna be also uh, a trial and error as uh, I've never done this uh, entire job before. So just uh, sit tight and uh, let's see how it's gonna go. Okay, now we need to pull this four expansion plugs. Okay, now that we removed those uh, so four now fasteners, just using a long removal tool, we'll put it under and now grabbing on the side, we're just gonna yank this box out. Okay, so the box comes out. Okay, the next thing, uh, we'll pull the center console off. So pull this piece out. Okay, now we're just gonna yank this. Okay, and we need to disconnect all this wiring. And probably good would have been a good idea to uh, to mark them. Okay, so. Uh, just put some papers right right rear, right front. Um, this one obviously doesn't need anything. Okay. Okay, 
this one's going to be left front. Okay, and this is a small one. Okay, so next we pull this two little screws holding holding uh, this panel in place. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this. Next one, open the glove compartment, well, the center console, and you see there's two screws there in the back, and uh, we're gonna pull them out. There's one, two, So now, this console, I think we should be able to pull it out. I just need to put the camera down. So, uh, just to recapture, um, we removed the two screws over here. Removed two uh, screws down by the shifter. I removed two screws inside uh, the glove compartment. Well, sorry, the, the center box. Now you need to flip this and just, uh, you see there's little uh, wire, I guess it's a phone wire. So just need to uh, feed it through, back through the hole. And that looks like the thing should come off easily. Now, one note, uh, the easier would be if you uh, Put the shifter in somewhere neutral or uh, drive this one just gives you more room for uh, to get this bar across otherwise uh, i've seen some people actually crack it or break it try to pull it through the um, shifter lever when it's in park position okay next we need to remove the radio so i'm using this tools I'll try to remember which way to insert them uh, I think it's like that. And I'll pull the radio out. Time flies when you're at one cup, say. Hey? Chicago won last night, they're up three games to two, the playoffs game six tomorrow night. This could be it. Chicago could actually pull this darn thing off, and then everybody goes up and down. Okay, to remove the sonar console, there's a two little screws somewhere here on the bottom. Okay, so now we're turning this. Okay. Okay, this one's out.
So next, we need to remove the <clears throat> the cover on the A pillar. Now, to remove the cover, you start on the bottom. If you imagine this this clip, um, and you see over here, this is where the okay. So you see this tab is just basically a flat tab. So that's th this tab fits fits in, into this clip. Now the easiest way to remove I found is you uh, pull this uh, <coughs> protection trim a little bit. Um, you get your finger under and you push on a clip down like this and that kind of uh, helps to remove and then with a either with a flat screwdriver or something you just pry this um, uh, the A pillar back uh, not the A pillar sorry the A pillar cover and then it slides off uh, over here you need to pay attention because up there uh, okay here you see there's a little uh, tab that goes under so when when you pry it out you need to slide it down to disengage and then it comes out okay next we need to remove this left hand side panel that's underneath the underneath the instrument panel okay so to start with we need to remove this cover and same as the right hand side just give it a 90 degree turn to the screw and just pull this cover off okay that's done now we need to pull this plug at the back okay unscrew that Let's see what else is there Okay. Okay. Next, you need to remove this. There's a screw over here, so you need to pull this out. Okay. Another screw. On the right hand side by the plug over there okay okay so now next step you need to remove the um, hood release handle so if you imagine sitting like that there's a screw on the side over here so just remove the screw and then you can tilt the key uh, the handle and the cable fits right here so just turn the cable and it will uh, it will uh, slide out okay next step uh, take this handle for the steering column release and just pull it off like that and you can see uh, there's a screw behind the handle so we need to remove that screw Okay. Okay. Also, when when you pull the park brake handle, you can see there's a screw there. So I uh, need to uh, remove those screws. Okay. So it looks like this car is free now. There's some kind of a retaining clips if you can see over here there's one here and I would assume there must be another one on this side now uh, you see when when this thing is gets loose the the color for the ignition key um, cylinder will uh, will just fall out so this thing just fall off so now I'm gonna try and pull this 
this bottom cover off. Okay, one more very important screw that I didn't see. If you notice here, there's a hole right there and you need a pretty long screwdriver because there is a screw inside. So pull the screw out and, uh, and then this cover should come off. So uh, for the screw there on the bottom is an, is an M8 actually socket and one more thing is uh, at least on my car is a 95 model there's a OBD connector uh, so also needs to be taken off and you can see it on the bottom there's a two um, golden screws over there so I have to take them off. Okay now in order to pull this uh, thing through what you need to do is slide this thing to the side let's see Okay, like that. So when you slide it to the side, you can open it then, and you can slide the connector back. So now in retrospective thinking about that, uh, I don't really think we need to remove this plug from. Um, I probably could have just kept it in place, so I think I'm going to install it back. So now, and that's the bottom cover, just basically it drops down. Uh, We'll take it and remove it from here. Okay, next we need to remove this uh, uh, the speaker covers and then the air duct covers. So to remove this speaker cover uh, you need a really small flat screwdriver and if you see down there Okay, if you see over here, there's a little tab, so you need to, to remove it, you need to push on this tab, and then you, you push it up, and then this cover is going to pop up. Uh, let's see if I can do that with one hand. Okay, something like that. Now this cover just comes off okay like this okay to remove this you're gonna have to uh, take out these two screws well probably I can turn off the light Okay, careful so you don't drop the screws in. Just gonna pull one, pull the second screw. Well, let's see what else is holding it. No, doesn't look like anything is hold. Okay. Uh, there are two little tabs uh, Same with a small screwdriver you can see there's one tab over here and There's one tab right there. So what you need to do just slide your small screwdriver in and Then pull on this thing out Let's see if I can do it with one hand so Okay, just needed to go a little bit up. So, to show, these are the, the tabs that are holding it. So, by pushing it up, 
we'll be able to slide it out. All right. Okay, now you can just keep this and just slide it down the air duct over there so it kind of stays away. Yeah, you can just slide it down there so it's gonna stay out of the way. All right, next step uh, removing the center air nozzle. So uh, originally, so this piece is held by uh, by two screws on the bottom that uh, I pulled already, and uh, it's a similar type uh, little latches on top, similar with the side side ones. So I'm just let's see how this goes. Okay, so the latches are at the, at the, at the top. So just pull them down. And slide it out. There's one. And that comes out. Next step, need to pull that uh, that switch out so we take this and we pull this cover off then we remove the light remove the light bulb now you can see inside there's a knot so we need to take this knot off so it's a M24 let's put it in and the knot just comes off okay okay now I assume the cover should come off okay okay so we got all the parts out now theoretically I should be able to turn this switch to the left which is counterclockwise and just slide it out to the back and then I should be able to disconnect the connector in the back and uh, pull out the switch completely so let's see if okay, I can so do I that one side out you can see there's this tab disengaged now I just need to disengage this side and there's a little cutout when it's gonna fit in then I can I can pull it out okay so I was able to turn the thing and now I can just slide it back okay, get it out over here and I I'm just gonna probably leave it hanging like that okay next okay, step. so now that we remove the the light switch we have access to the park brake cable and you can see it in the back there okay so all we need to do just basically it's like a 
bicycle um, clutch cable or bicycle brake cable or something um, should be able to pull it out okay. easily. Uh, I'm going to have to put my camera down because I'm going to need two hands for that. Okay, so uh, park brake cable. So you can see there's um, the cable has a little barrel at the end. So, uh, and the cable sits here. So all you need to do just basically pull this little barrel up and pull the cable through this slot. Sorry, through this slot. And, uh, and then the handle just comes out. Okay, next step, need to pull this screws on the side of the instrument panel. So that's an eight millimeter. Just pull this one out and I'll go pull the other one, the one on the right, other side Now we as need well. to unclip. There's a one cover here and one cover on that side so uh, we need to pull them out and there's, there's gonna be uh, uh, two screws on underneath of that cover All right so So that's one. And it's a similar cover on the other side. Okay, got the cover out. Okay. The next step, those. we need to pull this two screws on the bottom, uh, it's this one over here and there's another one on this side, so we need to pull those two out. And it's one. Two. <clears throat> okay, so I need to see because at this point, looks like the whole dash is uh, is moving. Now I would assume I would need to move the the gauge panel out uh, because there's uh, cables in the back. So uh, I'll go on the other side and do that. Okay, next one. Before I remove the the instrument pan uh, cluster, I we need to pull this clips out because they're going to interfere with the dash so uh, pull this one out on left hand side and pull the the one on the right hand side as well right there pull it out 
Okay, just move the cable away. And pull the thing Removing out. the instrument panel. Well, there's two ways about it. Um, I can either use the hooks and a conventional way and just pull the panel or I can just reach through here and push this panel out and it's kind of a like they walk it out and uh, okay so uh, I need two hands to do that so I'm gonna put my uh, my camera on okay so now I guess the main moment let's move it this way like that is uh, I think we're ready to pull the the dash out so Okay, I need to go through the passenger door and pull it this way. Okay, so pulling the dish out, there's a little bit of tight spot over here, so I just kind of muscled it a little bit up and uh, against the window and I, I was able to, uh, to pull it out through the door. So uh, I'll go pull it completely out and uh, I'll get... Uh, start looking into all the air conditioning system Okay, so what are we doing? What I'm doing is uh, I'm just gonna put those uh, six screws holding this instrument panel just be just install loosely, and uh, after that, when I have them in place, I'm gonna position this uh, instrument panel in place, and uh, then I'm gonna tighten them up.
Okay, now we're gonna put the clips back. Uh, sorry, not the clips, this uh, little covers. And I think this gun goes like so. Now let's put back the clips for the A pillar cover. So this one goes over here. Put the cable back. All right, put this side on. Okay, now we can install the pillar. Uh, sorry, that's the cover. Just from the bottom, feed it up on top, slide it up. I'm going to put this side on. All right, so uh, after you install uh, um, the, the instrument panel or otherwise uh, known as dash and tighten all six screws around, um, we're gonna move to the left side and uh, install uh, install the park brake, park brake lever. So just slide it in and install the cable in the back. Then you install the, the rotary switch uh, put it back, give it a turn, a clockwise turn, so it locks in. Uh, after that, uh, you put the, the plastic cover in. Uh, after the plastic cover, you tighten the nut, uh, install the little light in, and then you uh, put this knob in, okay? So this is done. All right, so... Uh, this step we need to make sure that we got all the wires in the right spot okay so that's the panel on top okay these are the the two cables for the climate control unit the three connectors for the radio and this cable is uh, antenna for the radio okay down below we got two cables and I can't remember what are this one for but we'll uh, we'll figure it out so uh, yeah we've got the, the dash kit connectors okay everything's there all right now we can install the center vent unit it looks like so To remove oops okay we've got this too now we just need to put the two screws on the bottom and okay, we'll now get uh, the screws heater control unit Now we need to put, now we need to, I think there's two sets of screws, there's one there, one there, 